Hi, I'm Josh Farkason, and this is reading weight measurements on a physician mechanical beam scale. Taking a patient's weight accurately may seem insignificant, but even being off by a few pounds or quarters of a pound can lead to medical errors. From drug dosage miscalculations to causing patients to worry about their results, inaccurate weight calculations can negatively affect the outcome of the patient's care. When it comes to weight measurement, accuracy is essential. By the end of this lesson, you will interpret the calibration markings on a physician mechanical beam scale and determine the weight indicated on the physician mechanical beam scale. The parts of the physician mechanical beam scale that we will focus on today are the balance beam, which includes the upper and lower poise bars, the poise weights, also known as the large weight indicator and small weight indicator, and the balance bar and window. Here's a general concept of how the scale works. First, make sure the scale is calibrated by placing the large and small weights at the zero markings. Then, make sure the balance bar is floating in the center of the balance window. Once you have the patient on the scale, adjust the large and small weights until the balance bar is once again floating in the center of the balance window. If the balance bar is touching the top of the window, you need to increase the amount of weight on the scale. If the balance bar is touching the bottom, you need to decrease the amount of weight on the scale. Remember, the goal is for the balance bar to float in the center of the balance window. Now that you have a general concept of how the scale works, we will now focus on interpreting the calibration markings on the upper and lower poise bars of the balance beam. The lower bar markings increase in increments of 50 pounds. You have 0, 50, 100, and so on. The upper bar numbers increase in increments of 2 pounds. However, there are more calibration markings in between each number that must be interpreted correctly. Let's first focus on the sizes of the lines. You have long bold lines and thinner medium and short lines. The long bold lines are whole numbers. This line indicates zero pounds. This line indicates one pound. And this line indicates two pounds. Notice that all three have long bold lines. So, what does this line indicate? If you stated 5 pounds, you are correct. Now find and point to the 23 pounds marking. If you point it here, you are correct. Let's move on to the medium and short lines between the whole numbers. These lines represent fractional numbers. The first line is a quarter, the second line is a half, and the third line is three quarters. This is consistent throughout the entire scale. This line indicates 31 and a quarter pounds. This one is 31 and half. This one is 31 and three quarters. What does this line indicate? 44 and a half pounds is the correct answer. Try one more. What does this line indicate? 49 and 3 quarter pounds is the correct answer. Now we are ready to calculate the total weight. To calculate the total weight, add the weight displayed by the large weight indicator on the bottom bar to the weight displayed by the small weight indicator on the top bar. In this image, the bottom bar has a large weight indicator on 50 pounds. The top bar has a small weight indicator on 9 pounds. Add the bottom number to the top number and you will arrive at the total weight of 59 pounds. What is the total weight displayed on the scale? If you stated 144 and a quarter pounds, you are correct. You add the bottom number of 100 to the top number of 44 and a quarter and your final answer is 144 and a quarter pounds. Let's try one more. What is the total weight displayed on the scale?
If you stated 199 and 3 quarter pounds, great job, that is the correct answer. And there you have it. You have learned to interpret the calibration markings on a physician mechanical beam scale and determine the weight indicated on a physician mechanical beam scale. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to click the like button. And to stay up to date on other great allied health learning tools, subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter. This is Josh Farkason and thank you for viewing this video.